Good morning. All are welcome here as we gather for a time of prayer and reflection on this Tuesday morning. Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, O God, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Praise to the blessed and holy Trinity, one God, who gives us life, salvation, and resurrection. The Son of Righteousness will arise with healing in his wings. O oh, come, let us worship and praise. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. When Jesus came to Nazareth where he had been brought up, he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day as was his custom. He stood up to read and the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was given to him. He unrolled the scroll and found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. And he rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant, and sat down. The eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him. Then he began to say to them, Today, this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. Today, this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing, because today Jesus is standing among you. There is one among you, one of you, who is bringing good news to the poor, proclaiming release to the captives, letting the oppressed go free. Today, those living in poverty hear not one more no, but God's yes. Today, those who are bound by a criminal justice system founded on persistent inequalities based on race and class experience justice. Today, cultural, ethnic, and racial differences are seen and celebrated as what God intends them to be, blessings rather than means of oppression and discrimination. Today, because Jesus stands among us, inspired by and infused with the Spirit of the Lord. And that same spirit that led Jesus to speak up for the poor and the captives and the blind and the oppressed is the same spirit that rests on us today. It's the spirit that emboldens us today. It's the spirit that convicts us today. It's the spirit that will change and heal and right this world today. Today. I want you to listen to the Reverend Dr. William Barber II. I mentioned him in Sunday's sermon. I had the chance to hear him preach during this year's online festival of homiletics. Time magazine did a piece on him in February of this year, and the article's title draws on a quote from Dr. Barber. There is not some separation between Jesus and justice. How Reverend William J. Barber II used his faith to fight for the poor. I'm including a link to the article and the accompanying video in the description below this video. Please watch it. Listen when he says there is not some separation between Jesus and justice. To be Christian is to be concerned with what's going on in the world. Today, as a church, we speak with one voice against racism and white supremacy. 
Today, we resist the status quo because the status quo is inequity and injustice. Today, we engage in new conversations and summon new courage. Today, the Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. Give us courage today to embody the good news you bring to this world. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, bless us and direct our days and our deeds in peace.